the beach is like always changing with the tides. It's, it's really interesting. Joyce and Bob Horniker visit Whidbey Island every month. Here's a piece of glass as we speak. Picking out the colorful <laughs> glass they find on their walks. The common, commonest. On today's walk, another search. That's pretty hard to look at sitting out there when you know what's going on. The NTSB, U.S. Navy, and those with Island County began recovery of the float plane that crashed into Mutiny Bay off Whidbey Island September 4th. The deep drone 8000 ROV is being used to confirm the wreckage and conduct a survey to determine the plane's condition and position. The strength of the airframe and other components is now suspect. So you need to get up and take a good look at the airframe and the damage it was done. Chuck McGuire is a senior principal engineer for UW's Applied Physics Lab. He's an expert ROV operator and has recovered planes previously with the U.S. Navy. They want to do this in one shot, get it right, and make sure they're lifting from non-compromised components and get that airframe and, and the wings and everything as much as possible and as intact as possible up onto the barge. There's currently a crane on the barge that will be used to lift the plane from the water using cable or it will lift baskets full of the wreckage. McGuire says the important part is the air to sea interface. They have to carefully let the water drain from the airframe because any water left inside that airframe is going to increase the overall weight of the lift. This means it will be a slow process while also being respectful of those that may still be in the airplane. Nine people, a toddler and unborn child were in the float plane when it crashed. Only one person has been recovered. I hope their families can have some solace. The NTSB tells me this recovery could go through the weekend, and from there they'll have to figure out the probable cause for this crash. They say that could take anywhere from 12 to 24 months to complete. Here on Woodby Island, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.